Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, VB 2019, final day, first session. I can see the loads of people in the audience. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome, um, Lilang and Mooney. Uh, what seems to be a very promising technical discussion on kernel vulnerabilities. So please, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, our topic is uh, uh, play fasting machine, hunting our uh, Mac OS kernel vulnerability automatically and uh, smartly. Uh, I'm Lila, uh, and I uh, have uh, four years security appearance and uh, mainly focus on uh, uh, Mac OS and iOS vulnerability and uh, malware. Uh, I'm now responsible for the fasting project in our team. And uh, this is Moni. Uh, he is mainly focused on macOS and uh, uh, macOS, Android, and iOS uh, vulnerability, and uh, mm, mainly focused on uh, vulnerability hunting and uh, 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 sample development in, in our team. Uh, this is the agenda of our topic. Uh, we will for, uh, we will introduce. Uh, our static analysis for connotation attacks uh, uh, interfaces and uh, an analyze its shortage and give the uh, solution. Then we will introduce our enhanced uh, passive file solution and uh, study one case which we have found before. Uh, finally, we will give the conclusion. Uh, now I will introduce the static analysis for connotation first. Uh, in, uh, it may include four steps. We first uh, analyze all drivers uh, and get all classes inheritance relationship. Then refine the uh, method name based on the inheritance uh, mechanism. Thirdly, we will uh, automatically analyze the user clients in each extension and uh, their connection type. Finally, we will locate the adjust all the external methods for each user client and pass them based on the data structure. Uh, in the our kit mechanism, uh, OS meta class uh, manage, manage runtime, uh, runtime type information for libkernel uh, lib and our kit classes. Uh, it is called and uh, it is called and binary level with four instead of three parameters. The first one contains a pointer to the meta class which will be constructed. Uh, the second one is its name. The third one is uh, its parent meta class uh, instance. And the fourth one is its size. So through this function, we can find all uh, classes inheritance relationship. As we know, the string symbol was stripped in the release version firmware. So it should uh, refine the method names for each OS object class, including instant mes uh, method table uh, and meta method table. Through the in uh, inheritance mechanism, uh, many uh, method names can be refined from its parents. Uh, here, is a, uh, here is an example. Uh, we can see that uh, our mobile from buffer is inherited uh, from our source. And for user client an, an, uh, analysis, the final purpose is to get the connect type user, uh, user client map, like the following example. Given the assembly code snapped, we should output the mapping and the right finger short. Uh, for getting that, we should locate the new user client function address in each, uh, in each driver first, then analyze the uh, assembly instructions to enumerate the connection types as well as corresponding user client. Uh, for analyze the external methods, we will first introduce the ARKit external method call mechanism. First, the uh, system will check if drivers all write external method function. Uh, if yes, uh, ignore the write part first. 
system will call the external method in the derived classes. Derived classes have two implement methods. One is index the external method dispatch table using selector first, and then using the super external method function to complete the method call. The other is, the, is that uh, derived class implement all the external methods call in the override method. Uh, the difference is uh, that kernel extensions should be responsible for the arguments check by themselves. Uh, if extensions not override the external method function, uh, that should override uh, these functions. Uh, external function, uh, external method will query the method dispatch using this function and uh, then continue the method call. Uh, for, uh, for those implementations which extensions, uh, which extensions not override uh, external method function or override uh, the external method function but still calling super uh, external method function, we call them graceful uh, implementation. Because in these two types of impl uh, implementations, extensions will define a local or global constant dispatch array. Uh, these two fingers uh, shows the implementation of our HID driver. Here we can see this function using selector to in index the S methods. This is the de uh, definition of S methods. It's a global constant array. This finger shows the external method array in get target and the method for index function of uh, RO uh, I2C class uh, is a local constant array. Constant, uh, constant balls are saved in symbol table section. So for those two uh, graceful implementations, uh, we can firstly locate the starting address in symbol, uh, in symbol table, and then pass the contain uh, according to the data structure. Uh, what's more, uh, constant symbols usually start with uh, dash dash zn and uh, dash dash zn. Uh, such as uh, such as uh, real symbols of our frame buffer user client and our HID user client in the finger below. Uh, for the implement, uh, for the implementation which drivers override the external method function and uh, complete the function uh, method call by their own, we can call it uh, ugly implementation. Uh, because this kind of drivers usually use if close or switch close to control external, external method call according to a uh, different selector. Uh, for this, we also look at the address of override external method function first and then online the assembly instructions to get the selectors and the corresponding methods. Here is an example using switch close different from the Different from the standard C++, Apple add a jump table for each, uh, each uh, for switch case close. So it will help for, for us to analyze different selector, uh, selector paths. Uh, for assembly instruction anal analysis, we customize uh, an extension analysis agent and the uh, instructions emulator. Uh, what's more, we use uh, MISM to uh, generate CFG and guide the instruction emulator to analyze the critical paths. Uh, eventually, it can help us to generate attack service automatically. Here's our implementation. Uh, the first three functions uh, are used to search the voucher and the film address for each segment and section. And the next four uh, functions are used to get memory content or stream for a given class. Uh, the, fo uh, the following two uh, functions used to transfer for uh, voucher address and the film address. Uh, this class is rebundable for map uh, metro into a class and pass all the sections from uh, information in order to uh, provide basic information. Uh, last, we define the OS meta class that used to save all the uh, details information which 
uh, when analyze uh, each user kind and external uh, methods. Here we can find the uh, details information, including class name, the address of many key functions, and whether it can be connect, uh, connect from user space, and given its connection type if yes. Uh, this is a code snap from Apple HID, HDA agent new user client function. Uh, right finger is the CFG generated by MISM. Uh, we can see that it has three connection types, including zero to three. And as mentioned before, we only care about the certain registers data flow. Uh, in this example, is R. 14D register. Uh, actually, this, uh, uh, this register is pointing to the connection type register, uh, which is the fourth parameter of new user kind function. Uh, for uh, external method is the same. After getting this branching, use CFG, uh, and all we need to do is to analyze, uh, uh, analyze them to get the uh, related user client information or external method information. Uh, here we list some instructions we emulated, uh, such as uh, ADIP, AID, ARM platform, and LEA, uh, MO, call for X64 uh, platform. Uh, these two pictures show some register operation emulation, uh, emulation, such as get the immediately value offset register name from instructions. Uh, based on our tool, uh, this is our output. Uh, here you may find it only contains the two connection types, but it actually has three we mentioned before. Uh, this is the shortage of static uh, on analysis. Uh, the influence are mainly because most extensions are closed and the method strings are stripped. More C++, uh, C++ language usually use object pointer plus offset to call function. So uh, these objects may lead to miss. Uh, here we recommend using LLDB uh, debug to help us. Uh, next, uh, we will let Moni to uh, Moni will introduce the following part. <coughs> um, <coughs> okay. Uh, as we have mentioned before, the key methodology for, dy for dynamic analysis to get the runtime context to attack interface API, so to have trigger fast or even reproduce the potential vulnerability. As our best practice, we would like to uh, Frida to control and treat the youth mode context and the detrace <coughs> to uh, uh, RDB debug to treat the kernel uh, counterpart. Uh, the table above is our basic comparison uh, summary among different typically dynamic trees according to different dimensions. Uh, as in the youth mode hook, the Freda may be one of the most popular dynamic DBI toolkit for many platforms, including macOS and iOS. One of the cool advantages is that it allows you to pick and control every function using the well-documented JavaScript API, including the pre and the post event handling. Typically, we will re retrieve the runtime information, including the call stack, backtrace, thread contacts, and return value, and any other information you defined, in, uh, as shown in the picture. The yellow one is uh, the JavaScript you can uh, defined by yourself, and the, uh, the green free data server is injected with the root or uh, uh, high privilege into the target. <coughs> For example, the macOS service and the other kind of uh, processes. And uh, in the right part is the free data controller, which is connected by the USB uh, or the network connection to control the free data server. And uh, about for the RDB uh, kernel debugging, we can see that uh, RDB debug mechanism has, has in integrated long ever since the creation of a macOS. 
usually composed of a simple agent running inside this kernel, which receive and execute debug commands, and a complete, complete debug, debugger running on the remote machine, which sends the commands to the kernel and it displays the results. And for the more uh, utility and power of kernel debugging, Apple has also published a uh, develop, developer uh, related uh, kernel debugging kit, which contains the release and, and the KSON and the development or debug build of the kernel. Uh, this, is, uh, uh, this has the power to show the symbols or the internal symbols for the developer to see the internal of the macOS. So uh, the symbols and the debugging information in the uh, debug format for each of the kernel build is integrated to the Apple uh, kernel extension and the kernel itself. And also, uh, the macOS has a, a, a release its API wrapper for the basic LDB debug, debug scripting bridging API. And by this kind of uh, plugin, you can define your own plugins <coughs> to control the, uh, the target as you, as you want. Uh, here is the brief comparison, comparison of uh, interception method, uh, which could explain why we choose debug way. Uh, simply speaking, DTrees and Frida debug are all script-based programming section tracing uh, with well-documented API and good tracing power at the API instruction level. However, we will discuss DTrees for its uh, disability to modify the execution code and the data at the runtime. Frida is our best user mode interception way, but not the kernel mode. So uh, as for the inline hook, it's good for the instruction level control, but the obvious, the, its obvious drawback is that it's too raw to take much, uh, a draw, uh, much obvious, uh, uh, too much development uh, effort to utility the infrastructure and uh, cross-platform restructuring, comparing the LDB debug. <clears throat> okay, in, the other, in this part, we will introduce our uh, enhanced passive uh, fuzzing uh, methodology. Uh, this is the whole picture of our passive uh, fast um, uh, solutions towards the macOS kernel interface. <clears throat> as, we, as the key methodology for fuzzing, we would like to touch more execution path or code coverage as possible and catch the first spot of the kernel crash by our fuzzing. This is our uh, design for implementation. Uh, so the key step is to fuzzing <clears throat> Uh, is try to generate the fruitful corpuses about the kernel interface API, such as the gra graphic driver and the other kind of interface, and call to the kernel from the user mode agent. Besides the blind fuzzing, such as the Trinity-like or this color, we recommended to utilize the normal pro program, which have more chances to interact with the kernel. For example, uh, the OpenGL or the graphic driver and the 3D mentioned games. <clears throat> and at the second step, the passive driver would try to intercept the typical API, such as the iOCNAP call method from the kernel mode to the user mode, which is the basic channel to control the driver. And by finding the input driver of the API parameter, such as the scalar, scalar inbind, and the OL inbind, and the other kind of input buffer, we can try to tint the input driver at, uh, uh, in the raw uh, data, which is uh, directly controlled by the use mode data. And also, we have integrated the kernel centralizer mechanism, such as KSON and the kernel's, uh, kernel, kernel drive centralizer, which is useful to improve the fuzzing quality and the quantity. With, without the centralizer mechanism, the crash caused by the memory corruption vulnerability may be handled uh, dismissed by kernel code itself. Uh, what's more, it uh, would exist in instruction sequence disorder between the root cause point and the final instruction point <coughs> of the crash. And also, we would try to uh, uh, monitor the target machine uh, uh, 
by the RDB mechanism and try to reboot the whole target when it uh, ever crashed or hung. Uh, as for the Keystown mechanism, it is one of the uh, uh, compiled feature in the X XNU kernel. You can simply uh, in integrate this command, make IDK root with the and the kernel control uh, fix here and to enable this kind of uh, kernel centralizer mechanism. Uh, as for the credit monitor, <coughs> this, this module is tried to separate uh, independently from the target machine to monitor the uh, uh, target machine kernel panic caused by the fuzzing and, call, uh, and try to collect necessary crash material from, for reproduction and reboot the target machine for raw and raw again. Here above, here below is the crash issue generated automatically by the crash monitor. Uh, to be frank, our DB debug, our passive debug uh, belongs to the passive fast. So in order to touch more depths of the ta uh, target, uh, attack, attack surface, the following mechanism could be very effective. <clears throat> because it, uh, uh, if you can generate more fruitable corpuses, from, uh, normal corpuses from the use mode, then you, can, you have more chance of uh, crash. Uh, one bit of uh, crash rate to crash the kernel. So we suggested you to, for example, run the 3D game in the use mode space as uh, much as possible, and run the benchmark program in the use mode space, such as uh, GFX benchmark or X benchmark. And also you can run active fast to in the use mode to generate more corpuses. These methods can make the rendering uh, render function calling more sequence, more frequent than euro, which help to improve the fuzzing efficiency. As the implementation, we have integrated the Apple script to control our fuzzing agent in the Ute mode. Uh, this uh, Apple script has uh, integrated the fruitable API to control your target, for example, the uh, Safari browser, and uh, open and close, and uh, uh, the manual control of the application. So uh, by this kind of uh, mimic of the uh, user, uh, user interaction, you can generate more uh, normal corpuses or data stream to the, user, to the kernel mode. Here are some tricks to generate enough normal data and fast to keep the whole system always working in our fuzzing practice. For example, in case of uh, system hung, we have integrated the kernel reboot, and we have uh, uh, loaded our own custom driver into the kernel. <clears throat> and uh, even the whole system uh, is hung, and uh, there is no uh, response in the user mode agent, then we can timely reboot the whole system from the kernel driver. And we have integrated two uh, kind of undocumented undoc API to reboot the kernel. Uh, in the other part, we will introduce the vulnerability we have found by, the, by our, uh, by our fuzzing, uh, fuzzing machine <coughs> and by the interface code revealing. And uh, this is the CVE uh, 2008 and 4462. Uh, this is kind of uh, integral overflow vulnerability which can, uh, which is uh, uh, crashed in the AMD frame a frame, uh, frame buffer driver. And this is the uh, raw core stack when the vulnerability is, uh, is found. <coughs> we, can see that, uh, 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 we can see that the backtracing of the uh, credit point, the EX get uh, pixel information method is one of the IO frame buffer use client methods. Uh, and the selector, uh, also command control is one. And the method takes, uh, takes three scaling Scalar input data, which are which uh, are uh, responsible for the display model uh, depth and uh, uh, aperture and returns the pixel, pixel information in the end. And uh, this is the root cause of the vulnerability. <coughs> uh, <coughs> we can see that uh, 
this uh, 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 in the target function, uh, this parameter is first checked to compare with 10. And, uh, and in this part, <coughs> uh, it, will, it will, will try to uh, move this value, which is controlled by the user mode, to RDI. And uh, the vulnerability point is here. It will, it will wrongly extend the unsigned, uh, unsigned uh, uh, integral to uh, 64 bits. So it becomes uh, uh, with this kind of value, uh, which is uh, which uh, the print value is FFFF. Uh, so uh, this kind of value is so big. Uh, <coughs> so this, uh, when we call to this kind of information, you, you call to some uh, OOB uh, vulnerability. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, this is our conclusion. And first, we will introduce the method, methodology to analyze the attack interface of the kernel extension by static analysis. And then, we will introduce a enhanced passive fuzzing architecture in the Mac OS system towards the kernel itself and the driver extension. And finally, we will study the vulnerability we have found by our fuzzing and code revealing. Okay. These are our final slides. Thank you. <laughs>